Today, we're diving into the key differences between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, and why upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 might make a world of difference for your internet experience. Whether you're a gamer, streamer, or just someone with a smart home, this video is for you. First up, speed. Wi-Fi 5 offers speeds up to 3.5 gigabits per second, which is pretty fast. But Wi-Fi 6 can take it up a notch, reaching 9.6 gigabits per second, making it a much better choice for crowded environments. Imagine you're downloading a 4K movie. With Wi-Fi 5, this might take you around 5 minutes. But with Wi-Fi 6, the same movie could download in just 1 to 2 minutes. That's a huge time saver. Next, let's talk about frequency bands. Wi-Fi 5 works only on the 5 GHz band, which is great for speed, but can get congested if many devices are connected. Wi-Fi 6 operates on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. So, your smartphone can use the 2.4 GHz band while your smart TV uses 5 GHz, which leads to better performance for both devices. Here's where things get even better. Wi-Fi 6 uses something called OFDMA which divides channels into smaller sub-channels, boosting efficiency for multiple devices. In a crowded cafe with Wi-Fi 5, the network might slow down because it can't handle splitting channels well. But with Wi-Fi 6, everyone can browse, stream, or work smoothly, even when many people are connected. Let's talk about latency. If you're gaming online with Wi-Fi 5, you might experience some lag when too many devices are connected at once. With Wi-Fi 6, latency is reduced thanks to target wake time, or TWT, making your gaming session smoother, even if your family is streaming videos in the background. Wi-Fi 6 also excels at handling more devices simultaneously. In a house with 10 devices, Wi-Fi 5 might struggle, and you'll experience buffering during video calls or streaming. With Wi-Fi 6, you could have 20 to 30 devices connected at the same time without any noticeable slowdowns. Everyone can stream, work, or game without interruption. Now, let's get into MUMIMO. Wi-Fi 5 supports MUMIMO for downlink when the router sends data to your devices, but it struggles with uplink when your device sends data back, like during a video call. Wi-Fi 6 extends MUMIMO to both downlink and uplink, so whether you're streaming a movie or on a video conference, both uploading and downloading happen smoothly. Finally, there's range. In large homes, Wi-Fi 5 might leave certain areas with weak signals or dead zones. But with Wi-Fi 6, you get better range and performance even in distant rooms. Streaming a movie in your backyard? No problem. So, to recap, Wi-Fi 6 offers faster speeds, better device handling, lower latency, and improved range compared to Wi-Fi 5. If you have a lot of smart devices or if you game, stream, or work from home, Wi-Fi 6 is definitely worth the upgrade. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you're thinking about upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 or if you have any questions. See you in the next video.